The overall goal of this method for continuous manual exchange transfusion is to treat sickle cell disease patients in need of chronic transfusions while limiting their iron overload without the use of special equipment. This method can help answer key questions in the field of sickle cell anemia about how to safely and efficiently perform chronic exchange transfusions when erythropheresis is not available. The main advantage of this technique is that it can be performed without specific equipment but still maintain a similar efficiency to erythropheresis. Visual demonstration of this method is critical as the continuous phlebotomy steps must be strictly controlled and supervised. Before beginning the exchange transfusion session, have a physician perform a thorough and complete physical examination of the patient, paying specific attention to the body temperature and the hemodynamic parameters, and obtain a recent body weight. Install a peripheral venous line to one limb for the phlebotomy and a second venous line to the other limb for the albumin and packed red blood cells infusion. Then administer one gram of calcium per OS to prevent hypocalcemia due to the presence of a calcium chelating anticoagulant in the transfusion bags. After the results of the exams have been checked, obtain the initial phlebotomy volume, using the table as a guide for determining the volume and rate of the acquisition. Program the infusion of the same volume of albumin solution in the syringe pump. Before beginning the initial phlebotomy, Confirm that the appropriate volume of phenotypically matched packed red blood cells is available at the blood bank for the exchange transfusion. Carefully